We're doing another Beyblade combo video, and today's Beyblade combo video is, it's a video. <laughs> I don't know how to do intros anymore, guys. I don't want to start with the same intro, what's up guys, left first, or I kind of want to switch it up. But whenever I try to switch it up, I always come up with these really bad, cringy intros. Anyway, today, we're doing a combo video, and today's combo video is going to be the full project style combo. Now you guys know how these combo videos work, they're pretty self-explanatory. Basically we get one main premise for a combo and each part has to uh, comply with that premise. For instance, we've done the full metal combo video, we've done the full spring combo video, and today we're doing the full projectile video. So let's just get started. First off, we have the layer. Now I can only really think of one layer that has a projectile. Actually there's two layers that have projectiles, but they're from the same line. Uh, those layers being Revive. Phoenix, and then also, of course, its counterpart, or its big brother, Dead Phoenix. Now, uh, these guys, they're both basically the same uh, Beyblade, they both have the same gimmick, basically they have an outer ring that shoots off as a projectile during battle, and it is really cool. Uh, now, Dead Phoenix actually has a heavier outer ring, and Revive Phoenix actually has a heavier core, as you can see, Revive Phoenix has metal on the layer, and Dead Phoenix does not have metal on the layer. When you look at the outer rings, Revive Phoenix's outer ring does have metal on it but uh, Dead Phoenix's outer ring does have more metal. So how we uh, find the perfect middle ground, the perfect compromise, is we just put the Dead Phoenix uh, ring onto the Revive Phoenix layer base, and then boom, we have this new Beyblade that Takara Tomy dubbed, I think, Perfect Phoenix, and this guy is extremely heavy. Uh, I think at the time it came out, it was probably the heaviest Beyblade to be released, so we're definitely gonna be using this guy on the full projectile combo. Next up, we have the disc. Now, the sad thing about this Discs is that Takara told me hasn't actually released a projectile disc. Why? 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 So this one's gonna be kind of funky. Uh, anyway, I was thinking of maybe just using a regular core disc and then putting on the frame, or putting the frame on like really loosely, so then maybe like during battle the frame will pop off and then we'll have like a full projectile uh, disc thingamabobber, but then I was thinking that's, that's never gonna happen, so I, I don't think we're gonna do it, uh, I don't think we're gonna be performing that strategy. Uh, another disc I'm thinking of is maybe the hurricane disc, because I think the actual definition of a projectile is an object in freefall, or an object uh, in the air that it's only force action upon it is gravity and I mean like I feel like because it's free spin it doesn't have as many forces acting upon it as other I, I, I don't know this is a stretch I, there's no projectile disc so we're just gonna use hurricane because why not it's, it's almost a projectile kind of it's not really attached to the disc actually it is attached to the disc it's just free so just don't worry about it the hurricane disc it, it's the closest thing we have to a projectile disc so yeah, we're just gonna do that now moving on to the driver again there is only one uh, projectile style Beyblade driver, that being, of course, the bullet driver. Now, how the bullet driver works is if you compress the driver and then uh, hit the driver at a certain angle, the bottom part will pop off, and then you'll have a little Beyblade, a projectile Beyblade, which actually technically isn't even a projectile, because again, the definition of a projectile is an object in the air that's only force acting upon it is gravity, and the bullet driver, this little thing, uh, it's connected, or it's spinning on the stadium floor, so therefore it has more forces than just uh, the gravity force that also has like a normal force and a frictional force, but whatever, it's, it's a projectile, okay? Th this video is really stupid, I should stop recording already, but we're already too deep in, so we're just gonna keep recording this video. Anyway, so yeah, this is going to be the full projectile combo. It is going to be Perfect Phoenix Hurricane Bullet. Let's go this- this guy is a monster, holy moly, this guy's crazy. Look how weird this combo looks, this combo is so whack, oh my goodness, it looks so goofy. Anyway, so yeah, here is our full projectile combo, Perfect Phoenix, Hurricane Bullet, let's go to the stadium and test this guy out. I think it's so weird, oh my goodness, it looks so weird, it looks like a cake, like a layered Beyblade cake. Anyway, so yeah, let's test it out, uh, let's see if it's actually good, if it's actually good, that, that'll be really surprising, because this thing, it looks so funky. 
All right, time to test out this thing. This thing is crazy. Look at this combo. This combo is so funky. I think this is the tallest Beyblade combo you can make. So this is the full projecto of Beyblade, but at the same time, the tallest Beyblade combo. And you will test out the full projectile Beyblade against all the Beyblades right here. It's a mix of Chosy Beyblades, of course, since we are using a Chosy Beyblade being a uh, perfect Phoenix, but it is also a mixture of uh, the newest GT Beyblade, just because I feel like Perfect Phoenix is a really good Beyblade. I feel like it can contest with most of the new GT Beyblades. Anyway, let's get this started. Which one should we start off with? Let's start off with a weak uh, Chosy Beyblade. So we're gonna start off with Hazard Kirbyus. Don't get me wrong, Hazard Kirbyus is amazing. I think it's a beautiful Beyblade. At first, I really didn't like it. I thought it was like too bright. I thought it looked like Shrek. But now that I look at it, I really like the green. It's really cool. Anyway, let's get this battle started. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Hazard Kirbyus. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Full pro oh, and the full projectile Beyblade just demolishes Hazard Kirbyus right there. They really do need to make a new Kirbyus, like a GT Kirbyus. I know the GT series is basically over, but to care told me, you, you can still make a GT Kirbyus, right? We really do need a GT Kirbyus. Kirbyus is such a cool Beyblade. Alright, we're gonna do one more battle since that battle kinda wasn't fair. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. Hazard Kirbyus. 3, 2, 1, go shoot. Full projectile Beyblade. Who is going to win this one? Hazard Kirbyus or the projectile Beyblade? I don't really know. Anyway, do you hear that? The contact points sound like metal. It sounds like metal clicking. I think this Beyblade's so tall that its disc is making contact with Hazard Kirbyus' layer. Anyway, the winner of that battle is, of course, going to be the full projectile combo. Ironically, no projectiles were shut out, so it wasn't really a projectile combo, but whatever. Let's test it out against uh, Flare Dragon. Alright, ready? 3, 2, 1, go shoot! There is Flare Dragon. 3, 2, 1, go shoot! And oh! Holy moly! What did a project- Okay, yeah, yeah, the bullet driver came off. When it bursted, it looked like both the Beyblades bursted, but then I looked at the stadium and- Whoa, look how weird this looks! Oh, this looks so weird! Uh, but then when I looked at the stadium, uh, Revive Phoenix was still spinning. I guess that that's something cool about the bullet driver and about the Revive Phoenix. A layer that when uh, the projectiles shoot out, it makes it look like the Beyblade's bursting, and maybe they'll confuse your opponent, and then you'll be able to win. At least that's how it works in the anime. I remember in the anime, whenever Phi would uh, use his Revive Phoenix Slayer, whenever Revive Phoenix Slayer would pop off, everyone would think that Revive Phoenix burst, but in reality, the layer just popped off. And the same thing with uh, Diablo's driver, the bullet driver. Whenever he uses the bullet driver, and the bullet driver pops off, everyone thinks that Diablo's burst. But but in reality, it's just the bullet driver popped off. Anyway, uh, let's do. Should we do another battle again? So that was a really cool battle. Um, no, nah, let's do. Let's move on to the next Beyblade. Uh, let's go back to Chozy. Tested against one of the best Chozy Beyblades ever released. We of course have Chozy Valkyrie. This is probably my favorite Chozy Beyblade, besides of course Chozy Spriggan. But this guy's really cool. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go! Shoot! Oh my goodness, it didn't come off the launcher. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Oh no, it fell off. Three, two, one, go shoot. Full projectile combo. Three, two, one, go shoot. And there is Chosy Valkyrie. Let's see how the full projectile combo does against Chosy Valkyrie. And it's looking like it's doing just fine. I'm really hoping the Revive Phoenix layer will pop off too. And the Bullet Driver at the same time. Imagine both projectiles shooting out at the same time. That would be really cool. But it doesn't Why look like it's going to happen this battle. Although Revive Phoenix did manage to win. Or the full, uh, what is it? The full projectile combo managed to win. Uh, let's do one more battle again the two ready three two one go shoot full projectile combo three two one go shoot chosy valkyrie all right something happened please one of the projectiles fall off that'd be really cool or none of the projectiles fall off i feel like perfect phoenix is just too perfect and uh the ring around perfect phoenix just doesn't want to fall off which is really disappointing i want to see two projectiles in the stadium and this time chosy valkyrie will uh manage to win okay moving on to another beyblade hopefully the next beyblade will make uh revive phoenix uh or the full projectile combo actually use its projectiles Let's do it against, um, let's try it against Ace Dragon. Alright, ready? 3, 2, 1, go shoot! There is the full projectile combo. 3, 2, 1, go shoot! And there is Ace Dragon! Ace Dragon, do something! Make one of the projectiles fly off! Well, Ace Dragon was able to beat it, but none of the projectiles fall fell off. This is supposed to be a projectile video. It's not fun if there are no projectiles. So come on, Revive Phoenix. Alright, ready? 3, 2, 1, go shoot! There we go, Revive Phoenix! 3, 2, 1, go, shoot, Ace Dragon, Revive Phoenix, at least use one of your projectiles, no, oh my goodness, 
I don't know why I keep calling it Revive Phoenix. It's actually Perfect Phoenix because it's a combination of Dead Phoenix and Regular Phoenix. Okay, maybe we should switch out the ring on Revive Phoenix to like the regular, or sorry, maybe we should switch out the ring on Perfect Phoenix to Revive Phoenix. So uh, maybe it'll act like a projectile now because it looks like the dead ring does not want to leave the Revive Phoenix layer base. But we'll, we'll do one more battle with uh, the dead ring. I'm going to put it on kind of loose, so maybe it'll fly off. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Shoot. There is Perfect Phoenix. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. And there is Ace Dragon. Come on, Ace Dragon. Make the layer fall off, please. At least one of the projectiles. The Bullet Driver or the Perfect Phoenix layer. Come on, we need at least one projectile. This is going to be such a boring video if none of the projectiles fall off. No, this is so stupid. Well, it didn't manage to win. Okay, you know what? No, I'm just going to keep the the uh, dead layer base or the dead ring around it just because, I don't know, it's just cooler that way. Let's move on to another Beyblade. Let's just take it against uh, Chosy Beyblade, I guess. Here we have Air Knight. Let's see how it does against Air Knight. 3, 2, 1, go. Shoot! Air Knight. 3, 2, 1, go. Shoot! I uh, didn't bomb off the launcher. 3, 2, 1, go. Shoot! There's our knight. 3, 2, 1, go. Shoot! And there's finally, finally, the silly flippin' ring came off. Thank goodness. Finally. It took like five battles, but it finally worked. And it looks like Revive Phoenix lost. I don't even care. Finally, the ring came off. Also, can I say, look at this, look at this thing spin. It looks so funky. It looks so goofy. Look at the side. It's such a weird looking Beyblade. This combo is so weird. All right, let's do another battle against Air Knight. Hopefully, the ring will come off again. And hopefully, both of them will come off. If both of them will come off, that'll be an amazing battle. Ready, three, two, one, go. Shoot. Air Knight, three, two, one. One, go shoot there is the full projectile combo please outer ring come off bullet driver come off anything come off uh, please i don't these battles are so boring if no projectiles are shot and it looks like no projectiles are shot and uh the projectile combo is able to win okay moving on to the next one let's do it against the final chosy beyblade i have for this uh video we of course have debatably the best chosy beyblade uh archer hercules takira tomi gave this beyblade everything it has amazing weight distribution all the way is on the outside giving it amazing stamina it has a decent disc and its driver the eternal driver is probably one of the best uh drivers for stamina so yeah let's see how the best chosy beyblade does against the projectile beyblade three two one go shoot archer hercules three two one go shoot Oh, yes. Okay, that was actually kind of cool. He kind of jumped on Archer Hercules and the bullet driver shot out. That that was kind of cool. Uh, let's do uh, one more battle against them because that battle was... Although it was cool, it was kind of underwhelming. It was kind of quick. Ready? 3, 2, 1, go. Shoot. Archer Hercules. 3, 2, 1, go. Shoot. Full projectile combo. Full projectile combo, please. Bullet driver, shoot out. Uh, Revive Phoenix Slayer, at least do something. Actually, I, I kind of understand why the Revive Phoenix Slayer isn't uh, shooting out like a projectile. It's because the Beyblades it's bursting are so small that they don't even make contact with the layer. Anyway, the winner of this battle is going to be the full projectile combo. Oh, another thing I would like to mention is that this combo is extremely heavy because, of course, uh, the Perfect Phoenix layer is super heavy, and then the Bullet Driver, I think, is one of the heaviest drivers in the game, so that's really cool. Okay, uh, let's move on to some Chosy Beyblades. Let's test it out against, uh, let's do Prime Apocalypse. Ready? Three, two, one, go. shoot. Full projectile Beyblade. Three, two, one, go. shoot. Prime Apocalypse. Let's see who's gonna win this one. Uh, Prime Apocalypse, please make the projectile Beyblade do something. Make the bullet driver work. Make the, the layer work. This is just a really aggravating video and nothing happened. Let's do one more battle against the two. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Shoot. There is uh, Perfect Phoenix. Three, two, one, shoot. And there is Prime Apocalypse. Let's see who's going to win this battle, the projectile Beyblade or Prime Apocalypse. And it looks like Prime Apocalypse is getting a lot of hits. Oh, and the layer came off. That was really cool. Oh, and I think, oh, I think a Prime Apocalypse actually won that one though. Okay, let's move on to a different Beyblade. I actually only have two more Beyblades uh, that we're going to be testing against in this video. We, of course, have Lord Spriggan and Imperial Dragon. I'm going to leave Imperial Dragon for last because it's the new hip and cool Beyblade. Actually, by this time this video releases, we'll probably already have new Beyblades such as Master Diablos. But while I'm recording this, the newest Beyblade I have is Imperial Dragon. I just want to let you guys know I'm recording this on Christmas because I'm lonely. 
Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go shoot. Projectile Beyblade. Three, two, one, go shoot. And there is Lord Spriggan. Who is going to win this one? Oh! Oh! Projectile Beyblade beat Lord Spriggan. No, that, that can't be the case. We're gonna do another battle. That was a fluke, guys. Nobody beats Lord Spriggan, my favorite Beyblade. Ready? Three, two, one, go shoot. Projectile Beyblade. Oh, and the, the bullet driver already came off. And there's Lord Spriggan. And... <laughs> I know, I know Lord Spriggan kind of jumped out of the pocket, but it kind of looked like the little uh, projectile Beyblade on the bullet driver kind of like hit Lord Spriggan, and that's what caused Lord Spriggan to jump out of the stadium. So yeah, anyway, the winner of that battle was the projectile Beyblade combo, which is really surprising. Let's move on to the final uh, battle between Imperial Dragon. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go. Shoot! There is the full projectile Beyblade. Three, two, one, go. Shoot! And there is Imperial Dragon. I think my, uh driver actually ran out of batteries the ignition driver ran out of batteries so it's not working but you know what that's fine i'll have to replace the batteries i already bought new batteries on the internet they should be here in about a week anyway the winner of this battle is oh oh no imperial dragon kind of sucks like the layer base is horrible because i don't think the teeth are leveled with the base which causes the bait which causes the beyblade to burst a lot as you saw anyway let's do one more battle against these two three two one go shoot full projectile combo three, two, three, two. oh the bullet driver came off that was so scary it made such a loud sound oh my goodness anyway the winner of this battle i want to say it's gonna be other projectile beyblade but with imperial dragon you never know because it does burst very often anyway so yeah the winner of that one is going to be imperial dragon so yeah uh that was the full projectile beyblade combo it is a really weird looking uh combo anyway remember to rate comment and subscribe i'll see you guys later have a nice day leave some uh combo suggestions down in the comment section below what full combo should we do next We've already done like the full metal combo. We've done the full free spin combo We've even done the full projectile combo at this point. I don't really know what to do next the full plastic combo That sounds so lame. Anyway, so yeah, see you guys later. Have a nice day left burst out Ready?